Hey everyone, Jolt here. Do you know what this number is? I should have really paid attention in school, in art class, but I didn't. So I had to relearn this recently. This number is even more important than this one. And this one is the answer to the big question of life, the universe and everything. The number is sometimes called phi or the Fibonacci ratio or the golden mean, the golden rectangle. It has many names, but essentially it is the number that describes our universe. It describes flowers, nature, it describes seashells and even the waves, but also it describes how our body is designed the proportions on our face and on our body. You can see it everywhere you look. Also, you can see this in ancient architecture. The Greeks used it. The Taj Mahal uses it throughout. And even in major works of art, you can discover the golden ratio or the golden spiral, it's called sometimes. It's even there in politics, and cats even sleep this way. So what is this? Well, the Fibonacci sequence is a simple sequence where you add the number to the previous sum. So you add 1 plus 1 equals 2, then you add 1 plus 2 equals 3, then 2 plus 3 equals 5. You go through this sequence and if you take the ratio of these numbers, so you divide 2 by 1, 3 by 2, 5 by 3, 8 by 5, this number will converge to 1.618, which is phi and which is the golden ratio. And this is also how roughly the proportions in the golden spiral are divided so you can see how these numbers the Fibonacci series appears as the size of these various boxes and this was rediscovered by Leonardo Fibonacci of course as you saw the Greeks already used it so this was a well-known knowledge as well as this is how everything in the universe organizes how everything looks so how can you use this? What are some practical use cases for the Fibonacci series? Well, you can use it for image cropping. And if you look at well-cropped images, you'll discover always that somehow the golden spiral or the golden grid is used. So for example, if you take this image and you want to crop this image to make it look really nice, then you can actually apply the golden spiral and based on the golden spiral you can make a better cut so you can hopefully see that the cut top right looks much nicer than the cut the original cut was on the top left you can also use this for slides illustrations and thumbnails so for example in the thumbnail for this video you can see that i actually included the grid as well as the golden spiral also for partly communications but if you place the golden spiral on top of this you can see that the items nicely place in their right places as well as you might not see this but actually the font size also follows a Fibonacci sequence we'll look at that in just one second but of course, I'm not a big artist. I'm not really good at this. I just use tools. Let's look at, for example, this poster. This is an iconic poster. And what a surprise. If you put the golden grid on top of this, everything is positioned perfectly. The lady swimming, the text up here, even how it overruns the shark, the nose of the shark, everything is perfectly placed following the golden grid. Now, you can also use this in website design. And so, for example, here's a website and you'll not be surprised, but you can see how within the golden grid, you see the buttons, you see the sidebar, you see everything organized following this logic. 
Also, you can use it for font size scaling. So typically your normal text heading, heading two, heading three, if it follows the Fibonacci sequence, it will stand out. So that's the story of the number. That's the story of 1618. And now let me show you the script I've created to help you use this number. Let's create a new drawing. And on this drawing, I'm going to first create a rectangle like this. And I'm going to just remove the background color of this rectangle and make the edges sharp. And now I'm going to run the script. But before running the script, I need to install it. So I'm going to click here on install or update scripts. And I'm going to type in golden ratio. And if I click here, I can just simply click install the script. Once the script is installed, I will find it right here in my list of scripts. Here it is. And when I click this, then I get this dialog box with lots of options. So let's start with some of the basic options. I'm going to create a grid. And in this case, I'm going to create a grid that is going to be center out in both of the cases. And I can set how many grid lines I want. I want eight grid lines. And in this case, this is all the setting I'm going to do. Then I hit run. Then my golden grid was created and I can position items using these, this grid. Now, of course, I can create different looking grids as well. So for example, I can just create a left to right grid only like this and maybe with fewer lines. And then I have this grid that I can use as well. Or if I want a spiral, I can just simply click here to insert a spiral and I can choose where the spiral should look. I can even create a double spiral. I'm going to make the spiral be more bold. And then I have my double spiral here with the lines displayed. And finally, you can also use this to set text sizes. So the way it works is this is my text. And when I click on the text and I run the script, then in this case, instead of bringing up the dialog box, it's going to size this text in such a way that first it's going to give me two larger versions and then two smaller versions than the original. And this way I can sequence through, cycle through different sizes of text. Now, if I want to go larger, then I need to wait two seconds. And after two seconds, if I click this script again, then I can go to the larger sizes. So the sequence, the cycle starts again. So that's all I wanted to show you today. There are many options in the script. So if you play with the dialog box, you will see the many options. But hopefully this introduction gives you an understanding of how to use the script as well as a reason why to use the script. I recommend that if you're not familiar with the Golden Grid, then you do your research on the internet, on YouTube. It is really fundamental to good design and good knowledge work, good personal knowledge management depends on excellent illustrations. So I think this is fundamental to PKM. Thank you.